Hello, everyone. I pray you are blessed. I pray you are doing well. I pray that everything is going well with you. If you are able to, let me say this before I get to my point. If you are able to, please pray for my arm. Because I really want this problem I have to be fixed. I believe I have to do my other arm as well. And um, it seems like in my Christian life, I can't complain. Bad things happens to me, but at the same time, while the bad things are happening, good things are happening too. And as it seems, the bad things may happen, but all in all, in a sense, it works together for my good. That may seem very strange, but I honestly believe it is true in my life. Not saying I am rich, not saying I am perfect, not saying I am the most popular person in this world. But I do try to do what is right. Do I do wrong things? Yes. But anyways, some people may believe dreams are dreams, and I don't think they are. I think much dreams are not just dreams. There is a particular demon I see in visions. If I am naming the right thing, like these still images. Sometimes they may be interactive a bit. Sometimes you know, I see this demon in my dreams, if you want to call it that, like these strange, I don't know what name to name them, but let's say dreams too. So while I am awake, not every single day, not all the time, but usually when that demon appears, sometimes particular things in my life begin to well to disguise what I want to say let's say that when I see that demon I believe much of the time something in my life begins to go away I don't want it to go and you may have these interactive visions. You may have these dreams of a particular demon trying to attack you or trying to whatever else like that. And I do pray against that demon too. We are in a spiritual war. So if you are having dreams of a demon doing this to you or doing that to you, pray against it. Don't see it only as a bad dream. Don't see it only as something that um, is coincidental. No, you pray against it. Which I have been praying against that demon. I don't think ever before now, I believe I have seen other demons and visions and stuff like that or whatever else like that. But it seems like this demon is the most, should I say, popular to where I see it so often. I guess popular to me as in the occurrence, occurrences when I see it. Or should I say, I see it more and more. That is probably the best way to say it. I see it. Very evil looking, very wicked looking demon. I could ask myself, or I could say to myself, why is this happening to me? 
Why is this demon after me or someone in my life or a part of my life? I could ask those questions, but there is no sense in that. Why? Because I believe in this life we are going to be persecuted. I believe bad things are going to happen to us even if we do well. I believe in, um, there's a scripture, let me paraphrase it, but in a sense it is saying, for those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So even if that demon was not bothering me, which I believe it is, I believe there would be another one. And after that, another one. Maybe there is a combination thereof. Maybe it is. But when you have these demonic dreams, like uh, I believe it was this morning, like I was, let's say I was dreaming, which I believe it was a supernatural experience, like I was battling with that demon with my words, I believe it was with my words, with, you know, you know, naming Jesus Christ and binding and casting, I believe. I forget many things of what I said to it, but we are in a spiritual war. I hope this is, I hope this is making sense to you. You may see a demon often, or you may encounter a person where you are having so much trouble with. You may see that person as your enemy and that person may be your enemy, but at the same time behind that person, I believe it is a demon manipulating that person to give you a hard time. We have to get to the point and we all I believe we all are on different levels. I believe we are on different levels. Let me say it like that. I believe we have to get to the point to where every problem that comes our way, we should not stress out about it. Like myself, imagine if I would stress out about every problem I get. Do I stress out on some problems? I may stress on some problems, but I don't think I stress out on every problem. Because if I do, imagine your health. I don't think stressing yourself out so often a day is very good for you. We are in a spiritual war. I believe as you rank up higher in God, <laughs> I think the more trouble will come your way. And I know for myself, I don't want to be an average Christian. I do not. I want to rank higher. So if I rank higher, I believe more trouble will come my way. And But at the same time, I believe if I rank higher in Jesus Christ, I will be able to help more people. So I believe there is a great advantage in leveling higher in Jesus Christ. So you may see demons. Uh, you may hear sounds in your home like, footsteps when people are asleep and all that mess there. You may get these really demonic dreams, but continue moving forward. Never get to the point to where you begin to think that, hey, my prayers are not doing any good. My prayers are not working. Why? Because I continue, as it seems, to have the same problem with the same demon or the same person over and over again. Never get to that point. Never get to that point. For instance, I believe I have been praying against this particular demon or demons for a while now. 
maybe close to a year, half a year. And as it seems, if I look at it as a natural man, I probably could say, hey, my prayers probably aren't doing good against this demon, but I can't look at it as a natural man. I have to see it spiritually. So I believe what I am doing against that demon is having an effect. Even if I have to battle against that demon from now to the day I die. I know what I am doing is effective. Please don't misunderstand what I am saying. I believe God allows particular things to happen to our lives. I think one of the reasons is to train us, is to mature, for us to get more mature, more spiritually mature. So I believe while we are on this earth, we are going to have problems. So whether I have problems with this demon or that demon, does it really matter? <laughs> like if it's not that demon, I believe it is going to be another demon. If it's not that witch, I am going to have a problem with another witch. Do you understand what I am saying to you? So don't really stress yourself out so much about how long you are having problems with someone or something because the way i see it you are going to have problems with something so whether it is the same demon or the same witch or the same person i think it is in my opinion I think it is irrelevant because I believe we are going to be tested. I believe we are going to be trialed because yes, I may have gotten better in my behavior in this and that, but I still have room for improvement. You may have gotten better in your behavior and in your speaking you know, like not cursing and stuff like that, but there is still room for improvement. Am I telling you to not pray? Am I telling you to not fast? Am I telling you to not seek God? I am not telling you that. Do those things. But what I am saying, no matter what, <laughs> you are still going to have problems on this earth because I believe it is meant to be that way. So continue to pray, continue to fast, continue striving for perfection because I believe that is one of the ways we can spiritually mature. So I am going to continue to fight against that evil looking wicked demon with these horns and all that mess and that demonic look on his face and stuff like that i will continue fighting spiritually against that demon because what do i have to lose think about it if a demon is fighting against me what do I have to lose by fighting back? If a demon is trying to take from me, what do I have to lose by praying against it, by fasting against it, by doing spiritual warfare against it? I believe I have all to gain and nothing to lose. Right? Why should I sit down idly and let demons do this to me, do that to me, destroy this, destroy that. No, let me suit on my armor, if you know what I am talking about, and fight back. Spiritually, you have, I believe, if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, you have nothing to lose. You fight back and you fight back. I believe I made a video on this, but I believe living for Jesus Christ 
is about endurance. It's not so much about how fast you are. It's not so much about how wise you are. It's about being able to, I believe the main thing is being able to endure, endure hardships, endure criticism. Believe me, I get criticized. I believe I get criticized quite a bit, whatever. Endure heartache, endure this, endure that. If you able to endure, I believe if you are able to endure, I think you can conquer so many things. I believe you can conquer so many demonic attacks. I truly believe so. It's not about how wise you are. It's not so much about how strong you are, but if you able to have it in your mind, no matter what the devil does, these demons do, I am not going to give up. I am going to continue to pray. I am going to continue to fast. I am going to continue to seek God. What can a demon do about that? What can a demon do? If you won't give up, if you going to continue to strive for perfection, if you going to continue to fight back, no matter what a demon does, what can they do? What can they do? What can they do? Are you listening to me? What can they do? What can they do with a person like that? Like, hey, this person is so stubborn. So if I attack, this person is not going to give up. This person is going to get down on their knees and pray. This person is going to fast. This person is going to pray, 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 pray. And I guess in, in a sense, torment the demons. What can they do? Be that way. Myself, I don't know how strong I am. I don't think I am too smart. I don't think I am too wise, but I believe one of the good things about me, I believe I am getting better and better in enduring. Because I know I have nothing to lose. If a demon is attacking me, if I'm having these evil dreams, if these people are criticizing me for the wrong thing or giving me a hard time, what do I have to lose by fighting back spiritually? I don't have anything to lose, but everything to gain. So I hope this makes sense. I believe I spoke about more than one thing, but hopefully <laughs> it all makes sense to you. Okay, God bless you.